I could sit here and preach to you about the journey to reach these pinnacle moments of destiny. The moments where nothing but the rush of excitement was in the air. The electric energy you could feel all around. If you're a destiny creator, then you know that someone in the comments is still always looking for secrets to this day. And if you've come to the realization that secret missions will never be the same, you may just be correct. Secret missions are coined the missing piece of destiny, and it's no secret, no pun intended, players want them. Bungie knows they deliver one-of-a-kind moments, and they reward destiny's best exotics. So why don't we have them every year? What classifies a secret mission? How have they changed, and what needs to happen for them to return to glory? Ladies and gentlemen, these are the questions we will answer today. So leave a like, subscribe, and get a fill up of gamer subs using code EVAN. Because today, we go over the history of secret missions in Destiny, and why they may never return. For those who don't want a history recap or just want to see why secret missions have never come back, please skip to this time in the video. For the rest of us, let's go back in time and add some context as to what has changed with secret missions. Let's start with the first secret mission in Destiny, Whisperer of the Black Spindle. Black Hammer was originally a part of the Crota Zen raid and came with the White Nail perk landing three headshots returning all the ammo to the magazine. This sniper came with over 20 shots in reserves and was a part of everyone's loadout in vanilla Destiny 1, since it was hypothetically infinite ammo. And with half the bosses in the game being able to be killed from a cheese spot corner, yeah, you get the point. After Bungie sunset all year one weapons, the hammer lost about all the value it could have, but Bungie hit a secret mission on the moon in a daily heroic mission. This was a major victory for two reasons. First up, it's a secret mission when they had never done something of the sort, ever. This reason made players race at the idea that Destiny was hiding even more, and gave gravitas to why people love the world of Destiny. The second reason is that it was a great time for the game, since the Taken King was already massive. These two reasons combined in forming what we would come to know as the Destiny community, since it took community effort to bring all these secrets to life via Reddit posts and forums. This mission was under a tight timer against a Taken Captain in the Tannic Strike Boss Room, and even had an extra rare reward in a ship that could drop and looked fantastic. Yes! Oh! I got a ship! Yes! Yes! Fuck yeah, dude! Fuck yeah! This was a big win to acquire the now new Black Spindle Exotic from this daily heroic mission. This mission structure is what I'll deem the secret mission format that players really liked. A tough mission, a great reward, and a surprise to the masses. This isn't the only time Bungie would create a secret mission in the Taken King. In fact, the second secret mission came soon after, with the daily heroic mission in the Vault of Glass. This was an alternate ending where you could interact with dead ghosts for an exotic quest involving the future war cult, and thought to be dead guardian Praetith. This wasn't on a timer, but it paid off the idea of the hidden seventh chest in the Vault of Glass, and it mostly worked. So why isn't this mission respected the same as Black Spindle? Well, two parts. First is that the reward, no time to explain, was never really a weapon a part of loadouts in Destiny 1. And secondly, no timer to play with made it less exciting. Spindle went crazy because it was brutally difficult, and everyone had a tale to tell for a reward so worth their time. While no time was cool, it didn't have that same impact. This was considered the peak of Destiny secrets, all the way back in Warmind of Destiny 2. The game had some serious problems, but some seriously good improvements. Destiny 2 was struggling to stay on its feet after some awful decision making 
that led the game down a strayed path. In came Vicarious Visions, who delivered a solid DLC, given what they had to work with. Vicarious made Warmind, which featured the Whisper of the Worm mission. It took months for players to find the secret mission, and it was hidden in a public event on IO. The Taken Blight public event, which had a Taken enemy far away from the Blight, needed to be killed and a portal would open only while this was active. By interacting with this portal, players were pushed into a 20 minute timed race to gain the newly reformed Black Spindle. This time, a sniper in the heavy slot, covered in Taken goo, named Whisper of the Worm. Players knew something was coming, and something was out there this time because of a website named LightGG. On this website, a player can see the shared API or application programming interface of weapons and other parts of the game. In here was listed a catalyst for an unknown sniper, but it clearly looked like Black Spindle. Now, the release date may have been questionable, but players were on full tinfoil hat watches. But when we finally got Whisper, oh my god, was it a great mission. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're f doing it. Oh, you're nope. back. You? Hey, oh, back. hey, we're back. How come he's immune? So shotguns, I ain't Oh, I died. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We got it. Yes. Yes. Let's go, baby! Yeah! First try, bitch. Once Whisper was in the hands of players, it was dominant and easily took over the game. Hell, it even brought back players to Destiny who hated what Bungie had made for that year. Whisper of the Worm succeeded in the format of Secret Mission because it was that out of nowhere surprise, and with that surprise came a whole new environment just for this exotic. Plus, it had a heroic mode with added modifiers, hidden chests, a nostalgic throwback to the Vault of Glass, a ship reward, and a catalyst to make it even stronger. Bungie kept adding layers to make this the best it could be, and Vicarious Visions delivered heavily. The small crack in secret missions was showing though, as the shared data of the secret had lost a bit of its secret sauce. Where in 2015, a secret mission was unknown until someone found it, in 2018, a secret mission had a database of people who knew about it. Let's fast forward a year later in the season of The Drifter. Now this was focused around the fantastic Outbreak Perfected returning from the Outbreak Prime in Destiny 1. Bungie said that all of the funds from the Whisper of the Worm ornament would fund the zero hour secret mission to get Outbreak. If you're unfamiliar, it was a random hotfix Thursday when this was brought in. And this is responsible for everyone in the Destiny community looking way too deep into every single patch in Destiny. And I don't blame them. We all want that tick of excitement Zero Hour brought. This was hidden in a weekly adventure on Titan with a transponder. This involved the character Mithrax before he was throwing hands with Aramis. This involved more puzzly steps with lost sectors and such, but it quickly became the talk of the town because people knew something was up. How did they know? You may be sensing a little bit of a theme here. Zero Hour would become the single greatest mission in Destiny, purely because it hit every Mark Whisper hit, but it added to the formula. Zero Hour would be in the old tower from Destiny 1. It would feature new locations of said tower. It would have a more compact feel with traps and Trevor the robot chasing you around, and a final boss room to fight the fallen. Zero Hour's heroic version also had the quips of Whisper with modifiers and a ship reward and a catalyst, but this time a lot more convoluted than Whisper. One thing I always forget to mention with Zero Hour is just how cool this really is. Not only are you traversing all these different platforms, but you're also going into the Cryptarch secret vault full of weird goodies. What does this guy know? And this floor puzzle that was absolutely fantastic, and I would love to see this mechanic come back. Instead of chests this time, there were key cards, and instead of an oracle puzzle, there was these chambers to put in codes in an order nobody understood. No, seriously, nobody understood it to the point that it was found by pure brain bashing. On Heroic, there was a new path to take for the reward of the Catalyst, with even more platforming to get there. Zero Hour would save a pretty mediocre season to that point, and electrify the feelings of Destiny players. These are those special moments that make Secret special but the same crack was shown on the back end, which just made it a little less secret than I think Bungie wanted. 
but still nothing too bad, as it got everyone talking amongst the community. Fast forward to the Season of Opulence for our next secret mission. All this was was filling in pieces of the Tribute Hall, and then a Taken Portal would spawn in with a dark version of the Leviathan. It hit the right marks, but was missing the why of secret missions before. It removed the timer and it didn't have any buildup to get the weapon. Coming off of Zero Hour, this mission was just a tad bit basic, and it had nothing added to it the way both missions had previously. The look of the area was cool, but there was no memorable moment to this mission, and it may have suffered from being so close to Zero Hour as well. Shadowkeep would not have a secret mission in this way, so we reached the next day and age on our list, Beyond Light. Beyond Light had two secret missions, but they may not have had the impact you'd feel from Whisper or Zero Hour. And why not? They both have a mission in a new environment for a meta-defining exotic weapon, and they both have a heroic version for a catalyst. So why are these not as memorable? Well, because it's not really a secret. Harbinger may have had some convoluted steps, but on December 8th of 2020, Season of the Hunt just started the exotic quest at Spider to gather a feather. And this time, there were no data mines that I know of. Even Bungie dropped a trailer for Hawkmoon. I think this would have been a lot bigger of a deal had there been no reveal and no quest. Just a random golden feather found somewhere, and multiple to collect for some other places. This mission was also sort of lacking. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't better than what players had seen before. And if you don't build off of what worked, players will of course be disappointed. One massive help that was present here was the random rolled exotic weapon. I know people aren't a big fan of exotics with random rolls, but for a secret mission, this adds a reason for a lot of people to be back in the saddle. Past the first few weeks, Presage would be better than Harbinger, but it would also face the same struggles as Bungie added the secret mission to the trailer of the season. It wasn't the most obvious until Bungie put out a picture of an exotic quest that just said redacted. And people didn't know the date, but I mean, we knew it was coming. What I can admire about Presage was that it was truly different and offered a brand new exotic while the others relied a bit too much on nostalgia to empower their missions. But the secret part was basically gone. Presage also had some unique moments in the way that I felt Harbinger did not. While Harbinger relied on the Red War areas to shine, Presage relied on a brand new everything to shine. And the Trash Compactor is the perfect example of this. It was a breath of fresh air, but these two missions would have been a much bigger success if Bungie left them secret. Hell, we'd probably be talking about them to this day. The most recent secret mission that I won't even consider a secret was Vox Obscura. Vox was just a part of the seasonal quest for Season of the Risen. Like, it just straight up told you to go to Mars. This one relied on Destiny 1 vanilla nostalgia, or an air quote, brand new area in Mars if you're a new player. Vox was kind of basic. Hop on an interceptor, then a red war tank, shoot and kill a scion. The reward being dead messenger was incredible. I like that it's a new exotic that is again, meta defining but the mission was really nothing special. Even if Bungie kept this secret, there was no standout moment that defined it like the trash compactor of Presage, Trevor and the obstacles of Zero Hour, and the platforming of Whisper. You can see the progression of secret missions as we have journeyed from simplicity with some time spice into full-on brand new tales for exotics. And with Vox, if you paid attention to the dialogue, there is a scion prophecy telling us what's to come in the future of Destiny which some of that has already come true. So let's just jump straight to why secret missions may not come back. If you have made it this far into the video, thank you. And if you skipped to this part of the video, hey, I don't blame you, thanks either way. Secret missions have no doubt evolved over the years from Black Spindle all the way to Vox Obscura. We have eight secret missions in Destiny history, and each has done something a little bit different, but some are no doubt more memorable than others. Secret missions create so many epic moments in Destiny, but unfortunately, they don't take a week to make. In fact, Bungie has said before that developing these missions and keeping them hidden is incredibly hard, and I'm not a game developer, so I fully believe them. Introducing a friend to Destiny always starts with a few selling points. It's the raids, it's the dungeons, and the epic memories of these missions. 
It makes me sad that all of these missions in Destiny 2, except for Vox Obscura, are sunset, with that one set to be sunset. And in Destiny 1, I mean, you could always go back and play Destiny 1. It also makes me wonder if Bungie started making missions like the most recent three disposable, since they'd inevitably be sunset, and their place in the story wouldn't make sense in the future. I think Whisper and Zero Hour were meant to be selling points of the game, but took so much to make that they may not have been worth it. But goddamn, I will nerd out to my grandchildren about how cool this stuff was. Destiny ultimately needs more cool moments that are unpredictable. Everything feels like it's following a business model, and the magic of the universe and destiny is slipping away. Instead, for a more corporate game, look to the seasonal story. It has been the same format for over a year, and these unexpected secrets would just carry the feeling of a larger world back into destiny. The magic of secrets is also being shot down by the community itself. How many times has a secret been killed because we know it's in the database? Look no further than Bastion. Players knew it was on the roadmap, which was really weird, but we also knew through the data mined information, it was the reward for corridors of time. We're in the age of gaming where everyone is hungry to publish any information on any story possible, via leaks and so on, for that little bit of fame. It will never change either, since Pandora's box has been opened, and it's a giant pain in the ass to hide information from gamers who want that info. The only option Bungie has is to limit the API or just outright remove it from the players. But that would cause even more rage, because things like Destiny Item Manager and Warmind, they rely on the API. Unfortunately, I just don't see it changing. If you want a more recent example, look at what horny gamers did to Overwatch 2 within three days. They got the diva files and ran to the hub with them. All jokes aside, while Bungie could make another secret mission, it will never truly again be secret because we just can't help ourselves. Bungie knows we want these moments back too, or else they wouldn't have made these weird test hotfix messages. Like, Bungie, please read the room. You guys have told me you love videos on my channel of Whisper. You've told me you love the video on Outbreak, and so on. I can't even count how many times I've seen someone reach out to me here on YouTube or on Twitch and share how much they love the stories how they met some of their best friends through Destiny moments like this. It's really the same effect raids and puzzles have in the game. It's what brings the Destiny community together. If someone from Bungie is somehow listening to this, please keep experimenting with secret missions. I think my game development ends at Halo Forge and Mario Maker 2. Seriously, I don't know how to make a game. But I loved every secret mission you've produced. And from the perspective of a fan, these are the reasons I've enjoyed them. Some of my best memories in games have been from Destiny. And I always preach about how these big moments, these stakes, these twists, the community, all of it, it's why I've loved the franchise so much. So if you're out there, thanks for listening. And for those of us who don't work on Destiny, please try to keep your hopes alive. Because while I believe we won't see secret missions the way they were again, I am happy to be proven wrong. Hell, I want the comments to be full of video didn't age well. Thanks for listening, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy some bloopers and have a nice day. Hey guys, let's pop the champagne. Oh. Ooh.